With the importance of online reviews growing, some dealers might be tempted to engage in sketchy behavior to score reviews. It's important to understand the terms of use of all rating sites and to stay above board. This has been an interesting year on the review front. I think um, there's been a lot of changes in the industry. I think dealers have struggled uh, quite a bit with um, getting review content to stick on sites like uh, Google and Yelp and, uh, and other, uh, other various sites, specifically those two though. So I think the one thing that the dealers um, hopefully are, are getting educated on is, you know, you really got to be super above board when it comes to reviews. Um, no more review kiosks in the showroom, um, no incentivizing consumers to, to write reviews. I mean, we've always, DealerRator has always stood firm with any review should be, you should certainly get a verbal commitment while they're in the showroom, um, but ultimately have that review written when the consumer is out of the showroom in the privacy of their own home or work to perform that review. Um, and, and all of the review sites seems to have followed suit. You know, Google and Yelp, two big ones that it's a big no-no to have those reviews written in the showroom. So I think that's just some of the bigger trends we've seen is the dealers really need to start to pay, att start to pay attention to those terms of use.